Hi guys, welcome to today's episode and uh, it's another opportunity for you uh, to get to know what's going on around the country on the stables of um, everyday affairs. Welcome on board. Now the story says, Femi Fanikayode embezzled 2 billion naira meant for the renovation of Portacot Airport, wrote me Amechi Asatin, Asats. All right, um, I'd like to crave your indulgence to so please um, subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed and preventure you coming across this channel for the very first time. Uh, I welcome you aboard and I please uh, request that you uh, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get notification whenever a new story is uh, updated. Thank you and welcome on board. Now the story in full. Mr. Rotimi Amechi has asserted that the previous minister for aviation, Chief Femi Fanikayodi stole 2 billion naira, implied for the redesign of the Portacourt Airport. Mr. Amechi, who took over as the legislative head of River State doc from Dr. Um, Subside Oddly, in a meeting with China's television, asserted that he is saying something of certainty and not a charge. He said that his antecedents Dr. Odili composed the check and gave it to Mr. Femi Fanikayode. The Minister of Transportation, Rotimi Amechi, has been given meetings consistently to feature his accomplishments in the service to incorporate the improved rail subdivision, more secure Nigerian conduits, just as the improvement of the national of the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency NIMASA in the zone of guideline. Right now, Chibike Amechi asserted that Mr. Fermi Fanikayode left with two billion naira. Mr. Fermi Fanikayode and others are now confronting a 4.6 billion illegal tax avoidance charge, he said. It will be intriguing to perceive how Mr. Femi Fanikayode will react to this most recent claim, particularly Amechi's reference to him as a character that is beneath his level. Mr. Kayode has been one of the vocal adversaries of the APC organization of President Muhammad Buhari, and he is known for avoiding for not avoiding discussion, and he is known for um, tackling the APC government and uh, President Muhammadu Buhari. All right, friends, that's the news uh, so far. Chief Femi Fanikayode has been said, or has been asserted to have uh, stole, uh, stolen um, 2 billion naira uh, that was meant for the redesigning of uh, Portacourt International Airport. Um, to this, it is still an alleged claim, although... Um, Rotimi Amechi has said that he is sure that it's a thing of certainty because um, the, the check was composed and handed over to him by Dr. Odeli. Uh, so, if the question that really actually comes to mind readily now is why is this coming now? Roti, um, Femi, Femi Fanika Ode, you know, is not the immediate uh, past. Minister of Aviation. When did this transaction actually happen? When was this check handed over to Chief Femi Fanikayode? In the presence of who? On what grounds? What premise? These are questions that would be asked at some point. Now that Rotimi Amechi is saying that he is sure, that means he is certain that he's not even making an allegation or charge, that he is sure, because the check was composed and handed over to him, 2 billion naira. So now, in what year and at what point or at what time? In as much as I am not trying to defend Chief Femi Fanikayode, but I am only trying to ask questions as to how did it happen? These are basic questions that anybody can ask or would normally ask. Okay, on the side of Chief Femi Fanikayode, he has not come out to say anything yet. Probably he has not heard this accusation, or probably he has not heard, heard this um, story, or he's preparing his, his defense, or he's preparing himself to uh, be able to come out and, uh, you know, 
uh, say his own side of the story. So, but another question that I would like to throw to Ruth Miamish is that why now? Why is this coming now? Why is he mentioning it now? Because Ruth Miamish is the Minister of Transportation. Um, Femi Faneke Ode was, the, was not the immediate past Minister of Aviation. Other Minister of Aviation has actually served under, uh, sorry, uh, uh, after he left office, before Ruth Miyamichi took over as Minister of Transportation and Aviation, or Minister of Transportation rather. So, what, on what grounds is Ruth Miyamichi making these claims? Is something wrong? Could something be fishy? Let's not forget politicians are very witty and they are very, very um, cunning. They or always scheme, they always scheme, looking for means, avenue, you know, to outsmart, outplay the next person who, if he or she is not um, readily smart and um, sensitive, would fall to the scheme and uh, my priority be taken down. It is no news that Femi Fanica Day is an outspoken person who, you know, can confront anybody. We have heard him and seen him done that severally. And uh, he always lends his voice to national issues. He's the most outspoken person in the opposition party, if I am not mistaken, I stand to be corrected. But Femi Fanikade is very, very outspoken and uh, definitely we expect that he would come out to say his own side of the story and, uh, you know, uh, defend himself. So, but why is this coming now? What could be going on? What could be the issue? What could be the challenge on this particular issue? Rotimi Amechi, we all know when he speaks, if you have watched him spoke or watch him speak, you would know that um, Rotimi Amechi always speaks with this um, affirmity in his voice and the look on his face. So, well, that is not the yardstick to measure or to judge the fact if what he is claiming is true or not. Well, one thing that we need to know or that we should actually um, hold to ourselves is that something must have gone wrong somewhere. So, the Portacot International Airport presently is, is wearing a new look because... During, under the administration of uh, President Muhammad, uh, good luck, Jonathan, I beg your pardon, there was a facelift. And I think then the Minister of Aviation was um, uh, now Senator Odua. You know, so Patakot International Airport is wearing a good look. So, on what premise is this allegation being made against Femi Fani Kayode? At what time was this, resi was this redesign of the International Airport? was meant to happen and that it did not happen. We would like to know. One thing about Nigeria is that people look for the downfall of another person. If you have been in government or you are trying to be in government or you want to be a politician, you just have to prepare for criticism. You have to prepare for um, scheming. You have to prepare for propaganda. All this goes hand in hand with Nigerian politics. Corruption is another thing that is very, very endearing to uh, politicians, except for those who are principled, who, are, uh, who have the fear of God in them, and those who actually um, have their integrity to protect. But we know certainly that a lot of Nigerian politicians don't have any integrity, or they have little integrity, as the case may be. But that is what um, Mr. Aruchimi Amechi has accused Chifemi Fanikayode of. We wait to hear from Chief Femi Fanikayode on what transpired, how it transpired, or if this allegation or this charge against him is actually true or false. Politicians are difficult to defend because when you defend a politician now, before you know it, the next minute you have been exposed or there's another uh, allegation or what have you that has come out and uh, look impossible to actually defend. So. You allow politicians to defend themselves for themselves because you probably might not just know what the next uh, 
action or the next thing that is going to happen. So basically, we await Chifemi Fanikayo Day to come out and tell us his own side of the story so that we can know what is actually going on. Two billion naira is not a child's plea. That is a huge sum of Nigerian taxpayers' money that ought to be accounted for. So we wait for Chifemi Fanikayo Day's side of the story, then we know um, who is telling the truth or who is lying. All right, dear Sanisna, thank you so much for your time. I will welcome you. Uh, please don't forget to share this new story with friends, family, and relations. And also, please drop by at the comment section and let us know what your thoughts are on this new story. Thank you, and God bless you. Have a wonderful day.